number 15, we have um, 1,000 to the negative x, and then we have a base of 10. And so you want to be familiar that you can write 1,000 as a power of 10. Um, that would be 10 to the third. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite that. I'm going to close that all the way down. <coughs> so, uh, instead of writing a thousand, I'm going to go ahead and write 10 to the third, and then I have that negative x up there. So the thousand is equal to 10, 4x power minus 14. Uh, simplify this, so I got 10 to the negative. 3x power is equal to 10 to the 4x minus 14. Same base, we can ignore that and then focus on the negative 3x is equal to 4x minus 14. Uh, I will move the 4x over with, with the 3x, so I will subtract 4x, and when I subtract it from this side, I get a negative. 7x is equal to a negative 14. Divide by 7 on both sides, and that will leave you with x equals a positive 2.
plus 5, and then arrow over plus 8. Now, I can also add this restriction, which I think I want to go ahead and do. So I need to add parentheses. So I'm going to do second and insert to open parentheses, and then I'm going to arrow to the back, and I'm going to close. So when you want to add a restriction, you have to do divided by. So I'm going to say divided by, and then I'm going to open parentheses again, and I'm going to put this restriction x less than negative 1. So I'm going to put x, and the way you get the less than sign, I believe you go to test, which is right above math. So I have to do second test, and then you have this inequality symbol. So I want option number 5 for less than. And I'm going to do negative 1. And then I'm going to close. And then I'm going to go down to the second one. I'm also going to do the same thing. Second, insert. I'm going to open parentheses. Arrow all the way to the back. Close parentheses. Then do divided by. That's the key to adding the restriction. Divided by. And then open parentheses. X. And then second, math or test, and this time you want greater than, so that's option three, and then negative one. Be sure you do the negative below the three and not the minus, as will cause problems if you do minus one. Uh, let me make sure I did that up here. I think I did. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to graph, and then you'll see two different pieces of the graph. So that's one piece, and then you see how it stopped, and then it started a different shape. So that's your piecewise function. You don't have to graph it, but it's just me. All right, so all you want to do on this problem is you want to evaluate this function at negative 3. Well, you need to know where to plug in negative 3. You only plug it in to one of them, either the top one or the bottom one. How do you know which one to plug it in? Well, based on your restrictions. This tells you where the function is defined. So this one will only take values less than negative 1, so negative 2, negative 3, so on. This one at the bottom will only take values greater than negative 1, so that would be 0, 1, 2, and above. So since I want negative 3, that means I have to use this function. You can very easily do this by hand. However, since I already have it graphed, I'm just going to hit trace, and I'm going to type in uh, negative 3 and then hit enter. So notice, right now it's giving me an output because it's on Y1. If I hit the down arrow, it goes to Y2, and I'm no longer getting an output because it's not defined. So if I go back up, um, it's showing me Y1. If I go down, that's how you change between functions. So like if I type negative 3 right now, negative 3, since I'm on Y2 and hit enter, I don't get an output. So you got to make sure you're on the right one. But again, you can do this by hand just by plugging in a negative 3 and copying it. Um, but I'm going to go back up, type in negative 3 again, and then we get 14. Alright, part 2 wants you to plug in negative 1. So notice both of these, they both tell you something in relation to negative 1, but none of them have equality. So none of these inequality symbols have an underline. So we cannot be equal to negative 1 on either case. So we will not get an output. And it says, if the answer is undefined, write UND. So there is no output for 1. I think I can show you that on the calculator. If I type um, negative 1, Okay, I'm not getting the output. That's on Y1 if I arrow down. If I type negative 1 again, I'm not getting the output. So it is undefined. U N D. And then if I type 4, this time we will use this one. And again, you can very easily um, do this by hand. Let me actually show that works for this one. So I'll do this one by hand, which you can do it calculator or by hand. 
So you just use that bottom e equation, negative 36, and you plug in a 4 for x, and then plus 5, and then you have the plus 8 outside. So working down the page, I have negative 36, 4 plus 5 is 9, and then I have plus 8. And then 36, or negative 36 divided by 9, will give us a negative 4 plus 8. And negative 4 plus 8 is just a positive 4. So we just get a positive 4. And we plug in 4. Also, again, if you're using your calculator, I'm already on Y2. So I'm just going to type in 4 and hit enter. And my Y output is a 4. So that just kind of confirms.